Hi, I'm Laura Quilter. I work at the University of Massachusetts Amherst Libraries. Here in the libraries, we are excited to celebrate Open Access Week towards the end of October every year. As a copyright librarian and attorney, I support open access in part, not just because it makes research available to the public and to students and to unaffiliated scholars, but also because it supports authors' rights. Authors, when they publish their research, are hoping to get it circulated as widely as possible to other scholars, sometimes to the public, to, to funders, to, to the world. They're hoping to have as much impact as possible. And when their research is paywalled, it doesn't have as much impact as, they, um, as, it, as it could. Moreover, when their research is paywalled, it's because they have transferred the copyright to a publisher. The publisher now gets to control that work. I've seen firsthand what it means when an author had really wanted to control the translation of their work and make sure that it was translated into a particular language and their publisher just sits on the rights or in other cases when authors wanted to reuse a figure or, or data from a paper that they had previously used, an image, and then the publisher says, sure, you can use it if you pay me hundreds of dollars. And the author is shocked. You have, I have to pay money to use my own work? Yes, because they've signed away their copyright. I see open access as a way for authors to ensure that they themselves have access to use and reuse their very own work even while they're disseminating it um, in the scholarly communication world.